Hey, Malik. Um, how do you think you've elevated your game from last year to this year so far? Um, I would believe, you know, I would say I elevated my game of being more explosive. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what I was focused on and in going into the season um, was to be more explosive, like, you know, in the first four games that I've been having, um, first, you know, seven games, six games that we didn't have, I didn't become more explosive than being that receiver that, you know, is a go-to receiver right now. League, would you say with the recent string of uh, impressive performances that it's easier to get going with the confidence boost, or is it a little bit harder as the defensive attention increases? Um, that's a very hard question, but um, I would say it's kind of pretty bit easier. You know, I know you know me and Jaden. You know, we be on the same page a lot, um, especially with different reads or you know if they bracket in me, it's still you know um, he finds a way to still give me the ball even when I'm bracketed. So it's just me and him being on point. Um, you know, they try to give me a lot of jet sweeps just to get the ball in my hands. So it's not really, you know, just getting my confidence going early on in the game. You know, I come, I come prepared, you know, every game. I know I'm going to be expecting double coverage. So, you know, it's about, you know, helping my other guys get the ball. And speak about the development of Brian Thomas Jr. this season. What have you seen from him and uh, how, how have you reacted? To uh, you know, a tremendous leader. You know, he's been helping me, especially with that receiver room since we so young. You know, me and him only a junior. You know, we had a lot of seniors last year. Um, so, you know, just me and him being on the same page, um, you know, I'm going to see a lot of double coverages. So, you know, having him on the other side of me um, is a confident boost for him, you know, knowing he's going to get the ball also on side of me and um, just, you know, getting everybody going just also as Kyron. I think we talked about a month ago, and you are kind of mentioning how you're helping Zai with coverages in practice. How have you kind of seen the defensive backs grow over the past month since we last talked? Um, I've been seeing, you know, uh, Coach Steve's been, you know, doing a lot of extra things after practice, uh, you know, just working on their feet work, you know, getting in and out their breaks, you know. Um, but I don't really see, you know, much of those guys anymore as we get, you know, on into the season. I, you know, we don't really go against each other as we, you know, used to do um, technically with fall camp. But, you know, I see those guys doing extra things after practice to get, you know, a lot of better. How about uh, the wide receivers? You guys have had such a great connection with, with Jaden, really, right. since the start of the season. Where do you kind of point that to, and how has it grown? Um, I'll point it to, you know, you just know, um, just knowing each other outside of football, you know, it's a, it's a great relationship that we have, you know, outside of football, and it makes our, our football relationship, you know, a lot stronger. You know, I mentioned, you know, going eat, you know, going out shopping, you know, those little things that we can take our mind off of football and just know the real person, you know, behind the, uh, you know, behind the helmet. So I feel like that increases our, um, you know, our relationship on the field and him trusting us when we out there making plays. Well, when you play a team like Army, uh, the score might get a little out of hand and it allows some younger guys right. to get some reps. Who are some of the younger wide receivers who you think fans can expect to see really explode? Uh, you should expect to see, uh, you know, Sheldon Sampson, um, Kyle Parker, um, Jalen Brown, Kai Prine, you know, a lot of those young guys, you know, just to get them in the game, you know, get the college, you know, feel of them, you know, probably not getting the reps that they hoped they was coming in as a freshman, you know, getting in the game, seeing what college is like. And I was one of those guys also. So just getting in those games, you know, it's, it's a confident booster. Kyron had a big game this past weekend. Um, how did it feel to kind of see him go off like that? And if he can do that consistently, how does that help your offense? Um, you know, it's a confident booster for him, like I said. Um, especially, you know, when we came into the game early on, you know, he had a pretty good, um, I believe it was a dig route over the middle that he caught, and then he came back. Um, Jaden threw him another ball, and then he dropped it. You know, he kind of got in his head a lot. But, you know, I stayed on him um, when we got on the sideline. You know, I told him, you know, um, I would throw the ball to you again. You know, I was just expecting you to make it, you know, the next time that it comes to you. So, um, and just him boosting his confidence up. He told me on the sideline, you know, next time I touch the ball, I'm going to do something special with it. So, you know, the next time he caught the ball, he did something special with it uh, up the seam. You know, Jaden came back to him on the dig again. You know, when we came back on the sideline, I said, you know, I'll throw it to you again. You know, just keep that same confidence as you keep going. Um, you know, it showed his confidence throughout the game. Uh, what kind of impact would you say that the Nutrition Center and the staff had here on your development? Oh, uh, especially with Dr. Freaks, you know, um, when I first came in here, I wasn't really, you know, a smoothie guy. You know, I didn't like shakes, uh, protein shakes. I, I wasn't really the type of guy to eat all that. But, you know, as as I keep going on, you know, he uh, pushing me to eat more and more, you know, to get my body healthy because, you know, 
I face a lot through the week, you know, in games, you know, playing 60, 70 snaps a game. Um, so it's a lot being put on my body. So, you know, just trusting him, uh, things that he's putting in my body, is, I've been pretty healthy as, so far through the season. Yeah, after you get in the end zone, you normally get pretty creative with the dances. Are you rehearsing them? Like, what, what goes into that? Uh, I would say I pick and choose between Kyron and Jaden. You know, Jaden and uh, Kyron, they come up with a lot of, a lot of new dances through the week. Um, so if I can mimic some of them, it's really about who scores first. So sometimes I might score first before Kyron or BT. Well, BT really doesn't celebrate with us. Um, but it's about me and Kyron. You know, we got a lot of dances that we didn't do, you know, in the spring and the summer. Um, a lot of those dances still have been, you know, in the lockdown. You know, we never opened them up yet. So, you know, it's just uh, things through the week that we just focus on. Just stuff to have fun on while we out there. Um, we saw it a few times this weekend. Um, you guys had trouble communicating a little bit because of the crowd noise. Um, could you talk about that a little bit and how often that, like, affects the team, especially in Tiger Stadium? Well, say that again? On defense or on offense? Because um, on offense, it's, yeah. a, it's just a lot of things that, you know, goes on with – you know, different checks that we have. You know, we might have, um, if we see like a man read or cover zero, you know, we go to our checks. Um, but I, I think I know what play you're talking about when they call a flag on me in motion. Um, yeah, it was a, so Jaden was, you know, kind of uh, checking the protection. And while uh, Logan was in motion, I was in motion and I didn't get set because I thought he was changing the protection like we do at practice. Um, but, you know, it's just something that, you know, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm more focused on the game, so you know when he called me in motion, I forgot to get set. Something that you know I should have did, and then it just cost us in the end. But you know it's just something that we learned for it and keep going. Yeah, uh, you said BT doesn't celebrate with y'all, or doesn't celebrate much. It's kind of upset you a little bit or make you sad. Nah, it's just that's that's just him as his nature. You know he's a quiet guy. You know he's. You know, it's just him as a as a person, but you know, I know he gets when he makes a big play, you know, he celebrates, celebrates on his own. Him and Kyron got a few celebrations that, you know, we see. I never I never got a celebration going because you know he doesn't really like to dance and I like to dance when we in the end zone. So um it's just it's just BT. Uh Jaden's putting up numbers that are constantly breaking records, yet he's not as high in the Kaisman conversation mm -hmm. as you might assume from someone who's putting up those numbers. How do you think he kind of carries that, and how does that make y'all feel? Um, I would say he carries he carries that you know on his on his shoulder. You know him just being you know always always overlooked. I guess you know I, I know how he feels. You know a lot of things that you know not going your way. Um, but you know he continues to come here at 5:30 in the morning, watch film, try to focus on things to get better on. You know, always you know putting in work after practice with us as a receiver group. Um, and just the little things that he does, you know, throughout the week, it's just progressing like when he's on the field. It's showing how great of a leader that he is on the field, and I'm proud of him for that. You know, it's something that he came into this year, one, the focus on was winning the Heisman, and, you know, his, his, his uh, stuff that he's been producing for him to be running up for the Heisman is, is pretty good showing. I hate to nitpick, but you guys did settle for a couple of field goals, and Auburn mm -hmm. had a good red zone defense coming yeah. in. Are there improvements you guys are looking to make inside the 20 moving forward? Yeah, it's a lot of improvements that we plan on fixing um, throughout the week. You know, I had a drop in the end zone. You know, uh, we can kind of say it was pretty back shoulder. Or, you know, Jane put it on me quick, but it's a play that I have to make. Um, and it was a lot of, you know, different, different, you know, techniques that we should have did better while we was in the red zone. But, you know, we want to always score touchdowns. But, you know, if we can get three, you know, it's not pretty bad.